The big question indeed. I'm now joined by Manlio Di Stefano. He's Italy's Under Secretary of State of State for Foreign Affairs and a member of the governing Five Star Movement. Mr Di Stefano, why should the Netherlands and other Northern, Northern European states bail out countries like yours? First of all, good morning. It's, uh, well, I would say that the storytelling about Italy is a, bit, a little bit weird to me. I mean, we are uh, a very solid country in terms of uh, economic fundamentals. And first of all, we are the second uh, biggest uh, manufacturer in Europe after Germany. So uh, we are not at all in the so-called big spenders. So I really appreciated the last, uh, the last interview you had where she's, the, the women said, that uh, we should talk about solidarity, because it's not just in, uh, in, in this moment, we are not, not just debating about the Italian future, we are debating about the European Union future. So if we agree that the European Union has to uh, survive to this crisis, we have to look at this uh, event of uh, these days, the uh, Council uh, in, in Europe, and we really have to figure out how we can fix the economic crisis we are all living in. That's fundamental to be understood. Right. And so you say that this is about the future of Europe. That's something that the Prime Minister of your country has also said, Giuseppe Conte. But he has also said it would be OK for the Commission to make suggestions on how to use the funds. What do you say to that? Well, I think that we need an unconventional response in this moment. So Mr Conte said very well, we will face a distress, a social distress, uh, for the, the crisis, so we cannot think to come back, to return to the austerity policies that we have faced in after 2008, because they will have dramatic social and political consequences. So what we think is that the, if, um, the recovery fund has to be a, a big fund, so we, we really are looking to the uh, European uh, Commission proposal of 750 billion, and we want to be clear about that, it makes no sense to uh, relate them uh, to uh, conditionalities like the European uh, uh, mecha uh, stability mechanism, because it, it will be uh, unaccessible for more, most of the countries that need uh, some help in this moment. And again, I'm not talking just about Italy, I'm talking about Spain, I'm talking mm -hmm. about Portugal, France, a lot of countries. So uh, I think that we really have to think that in this moment, we have to grant money to the countries that need them and be clear that they are not linked at all to the conditionalities that are already existing in the uh, uh, European treaty, so the uh, uh, European me stability mechanism. This has to be clear. And also, but why? I'd just like to interrupt you there. What, can I, I really would like to know why, why you think that is... Um, important. Why, why you think it's okay to accept the money without, without any conditions? Simply because what we are asking is that those monies are, uh, they have to be uh, um, linked to the reforms that the Commission is asking. So we are talking about the relaunch of the health system. We are talking about moving forward in the uh, green uh, uh, economy. We are talking about the, the, the plan that uh, uh, Ms. von der Leyen has uh, put in place in, the, in, in his mandate. So we are not saying that we want money to do whatever we want, as a, an interview mm -hmm. told just before in, in, your, in your video. We are saying that we want to use that money to recover the economy from the uh, uh, damage that uh, he has uh, uh, had by the coronavirus. I think this is something that we share, all the countries in, in Europe in this moment. And again, the important part is also the amount of money, not just uh, mm. the existence or not. Because when I, when, I, when I listen to European Stability Mechanism talking about 36 billion for Italy, for example, we as a government, we already put 8 billion. So it makes no sense. I mean, it makes no difference if having or not in that case. All right, Mr. Di Stefani, thank you very much for speaking to Deutsche Welle today. Thank you so much.